Hello there fellow crafters, I'm Beth with Crafty Corner. Today's video is all about your design space profile, how to edit it, and also how to share projects to it. Before we begin, I wanted to mention that we do put out a Cricut tutorial every week, so be sure to subscribe and hit that bell so that you don't miss it each week. This is your homepage of Design Space. This is where you will find Cricut education and inspiration right at your fingertips. If you head up here to the top left to this menu button, you will find your name and an image. If you do not have yours set up yet, then you will find just the first letter of your name. I'll show you how to change that in a minute. Click on View Profile. This is your Design Space Community Profile. It will display how many likes you have, as well as how many followers, and how many profiles you are following. There's a spot to put a little description about who you are, and then all the projects you've shared. If you haven't shared any yet, there won't be anything here yet, but don't worry, I will show you how to do it in a minute. To change your profile picture, you will want to click this little edit button right here and add your own photo and size it to your liking. The banner image is this up here and can also be changed with the edit button here. Next, you can click on edit profile. In here, you can set up your profile to be public or private. You can add your about me section. You can also select your location and whether or not you want your membership status visible. This is where you will see all of your shared projects. These are visible to the design space community. They can come in here and like your projects as well as make the project from a copy of your canvas. If you would like to share this project directly to someone, you can click this arrow and copy the link here. Next, I want to show you how to share your projects. Let's head on over to the My Stuff section. These are all of your projects, shared and not shared. I'm going to click on this tennis shirt project. When the project comes up, you can click on Edit Project Details. This is where you can add a picture of the final project. Give your project a good name. Then in the description, you can add directions on how to make the project or what you use to make it, whatever you think would be helpful for the community. In the tag section, you will want to add as many relevant tags, up to 15. These are words that you think other members of the community will search for to be able to find your project. When you have added everything to your project, you will click on save. Then all you have to do is click on this toggle to make it public. This is my favorite part. Isn't that fun? Now we head back over to our profile. You will see the project we just shared. If you are wanting to find a profile to be able to follow it, you can head on over to your homepage and type in the search bar. Then it will find all the relevant content like images and projects, but you can scroll on down to the community members section, and then you will find the person you're looking for and go ahead and follow. That's all there is to it. Be sure to go and create your profile and share those projects as well as find Crafty Corner and follow us as well. Thank you for watching our video today. If you want to see another Cricut tutorial video, click here. If you are looking for some Cricut supplies, click here to head on over to craftycorner.com and be sure to subscribe to find all of our great Cricut inspiration. See you next time.